Welcome to the launch video of River Bear, the ongoing saga of my quest to build my own aircraft. The River Bear project is a Bearhawk B, which is a four-place, single-engine bush plane. While we are on this journey to build our own airplane, we will also discuss other things that interest me and hopefully you. Although we will mostly discuss subjects related to aviation, I would also like to give you some insight into life here at River Oaks. That means you may find videos here on other subjects from time to time because this is meant to be a view into the life of someone who builds their own airplane, not a how-to-do video. In the way of full disclosure, I am new to blogging, posting videos, and creating content. What that means is that hopefully the production value of my posts will improve as I learn new tools and methods. And since we are on the topic of learning on the job, the same goes for the building of this airplane. I have never built an airplane and I am by no means an expert. I will make mistakes and I am sure I will enjoy lots of feedback from more experienced builders on how I should or could have done things differently. That is fine and actually appreciated so you will see it all. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So, I hope you will join me on this journey as it twists and turns. Hit the like button if so inclined or even better, follow me. I will try and make it worth your time. The river bear will be built in a structure on river oaks that we call the barn. Although designed to look like a bank barn, it is actually a three-floor workshop and entertaining area. The basement floor is a workshop for woodworking, 3D printing, machining, and the like. The main floor is where the building will take place and is also used for social gatherings and family fun. The third floor we call the pilot lounge and is a man cave filled with aviation and military memorabilia, much of which is from my time and my ancestors' time in the military and aviation. Because we plan on continuing to use the plane build areas for other tasks, protecting the floors is a priority. The floors are actually made of 2 by 6 structural lumber that we milled to make tongue and groove. This not only gives the floor a barn look, but gives the floor strength, especially when coupled with the steel beam and post system in the basement. The barn was designed by an Amish engineer in Pennsylvania with the intent of eventually building an airplane in the barn. Because of the time involved in building our own house, meaning we put a lot of sweat equity into the construction of the house, but hired tradespeople to perform functions beyond our capability, it took a while for us to get to the point where we could actually start the river bear. Also, because of work, life, house building, etc., we made the decision about four years ago to sell our Beechcraft Bonanza and focus on building a home. What this means is that I also need to get my flight proficiency back to where it needs to be for the Bearhawk. That will definitely be part of future videos. To move the wing crates around that are part of the Bearhawk Quick Build Kit, you need a set of two furniture dollies and a bottle jack. Although I had a furniture dolly and bottle jacks, my wife wanted to two dollies from Home Depot since they could be used for other tasks on the property and in the home. There is always some project going on River Oaks, so the purchase of two of these made sense. Their weight capacity is not as high as those made of 2x4s and carpet, but they are capable of handling the approximate 250 pounds that make up each wing assembly and wing crate. They took all of 5 minutes to make ready for the arrival of the Bearhawk, but, in the end, it was a waste of time and money since we asked a favor of our son's college-aged friends to move the Bearhawk into the barn. This is a much better method than the Dolly idea and cost us a pizza. If you have friends, this is the way to go. I will keep these dollies for future movement of the aircraft parts and I am sure we will be using them at some point for moving things around River Oaks. I found a garage floor covering on Amazon that is designed to be absorbent, but also will add some padding under the surface I plan on building the river bear. It will protect the finish on the floor, but will also absorb any liquid that I will inevitably spill. As much as I would like to believe that no liquids would be spilled and that those liquids would never seep into the basement area of the barn, I know from experience that Murphy's Law will dictate the future, and so this will provide us peace of mind. Although branded by Armor All, there are many different brands of this material online. I suspect they all come from the same place in the end, so my decision of which brand to use came down to price and size. I also found a garage floor system at, you guessed it, Amazon. 
Made of a hard plastic material, it is designed to take the weight of a truck, so I am sure it can handle the weight of the Bearhawk. This will give the floor added protection from dropped tools, but, much more importantly, it will make it easier to find dropped screws or parts. The tiles snap together and once locked are very difficult to separate. They are also not inexpensive, so plan well to avoid extra parts and one-time assembly. Although the tiles are one foot by one foot, they are shipped in the box assembled into two foot by two foot squares. My son and I tried to use the pre-assembled squares to the extent possible just so we could avoid breaking down the panels. Lastly, you will need to buy the transition pieces for this floor to avoid a trip hazard and a smooth ramp from one floor surface to the other. These, of course, are sold separately. That is all for our first post. In our next post, we will discuss the delivery of the aircraft. We took some video of the truck and the preparation we did to make ready for Riverbear to come home. Thank you and please help me grow this channel by liking this video and following me. See you next time on Riverbear as we chronicle this aircraft build and life on River Oaks. Stay safe.